Welcome to part two of a week in the life of running a mouse ear small shop. If you missed part one, I'll link to that video up here. We have now entered the second week of working on ear orders. I'm currently working on 46 total ear orders, which is by far the most I've ever taken on. Last week, I was able to get 18 pairs of ears assembled together. So those still all need to be decorated. Plus there's a whole bunch of ears that I've not yet been able to start on. So this week will probably involve getting started on donut, beignet, and lollipop ears. And then I need to decorate all the other ears that are assembled and made. I think right now I wanna start off with prepping and getting set all of the fabric for the donut ears. I think that I have six pairs of donut ears to make, but I'll have to double check on that. So I'll probably get the fabric for these cut and prepped. You can sew those up. And then I've cut the fabric from my Rice Krispie ears into their little pieces, so I can also probably get these sewn. I really did not get that much filmed or done yesterday. I kind of needed to have a Saturday. Just like being able to take things a little bit easy, get some laundry done, but I still did make some progress with ears. Like I thought I had initially miscounted the donut, so I needed to make seven total pairs. I finished up sewing together five of those pairs and I have two left to go. Donuts are actually the most time consuming in terms of actually sewing them together. I'm gonna link here to a DIY video I did that shows my entire process for how I make my Christmas donut ears. So that'll kind of give you a good idea of the full donut making process there. The two pairs I have left to sew are the Black Galactic Donut Ears. So I'll sew these guys up now. I'll see if I also wanna to sew together the Rice Krispie Ears. But otherwise I think I wanna get started on some ear decoration. Probably put some hot fudge on the ice cream sundaes. Maybe we will put the cinnamon on the cinnamon bun ears. But yesterday I did get in a package from Amazon with more supplies ordered. That's the one thing that's not necessarily a drag, but it's that like you were always having to order and stay on top of supplies. And so in this package, I got some plumeria flowers for the shave ice ears, two big packages of hot glue gun sticks, which is good because I am almost out of these. I blow through these quite quickly. Some of this kind of spray adhesive, I'd never used it before, but I wanted to check out and try out another option and then some holographic silver glitter for galactic donuts. So I'm gonna get a few more things sewn up now and then I'll check in later today. This is my very high-tech ear drying storage solution. I use a lot of makeshift things when I have to have ears set up and dry with fabric paint. This here is a napkin holder and this little contraption I just recently made. It is a oatmeal container I covered in some craft foam uh, glued on top of a used resin cup. 
So this actually like works perfectly as an ear holder. It's a little bit more stable, but I also have all those glasses back there that I can put ears on to dry. So definitely not the fanciest setup, but it works. It's a little bit before lunchtime now with the lecture class I TA for just finished. I had my office hours this morning and like always nobody came, but this is now officially the last week of the semester for classes. Yesterday for ears, I got four pairs all fabric painted up and then I got seven pairs of donut ears all stuffed and ready. So over a little lunch break, I'm gonna sew up a few of these and I'll probably have to finish up sewing the rest of these tonight. I did get some bad news last night because you know how I'm always talking about like ordering things and ordering things far in advance. Well, like very end of February, beginning of March, I put in an order for more of the powdered sugar material I use for my beignet ears. It's designed as a Decoden supplies and it's made in Japan. Because the shipping is a combination of air and sea and takes a while, I always like to place it well in advance. So I had my order in, the tracking shows it was processed through Tokyo International like mid-March, but the package never actually left Japan and is now just not coming here because Japan has stopped all shipments to the US. So the company had previously contacted me about getting upgraded shipping. So I did the upgraded shipping, but the, by the time that went through, Japan Post had cut off and stopped all shipments to the US. So I'm lucky that I did get my churro fabric in when I did. I have plenty of powdered sugar to get through all of the orders that I need to make now, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do because the places that I've ordered this from are either based in Japan or from Hong Kong sellers, and Hong Kong has also basically cut off shipping to the US. So I have an idea for how to make my own concoction, which I think is actually good in the long run. It'll be a lot more economical, but it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error. It's just frustrating because I ordered this stuff so, so far in advance, but now there's no way to actually get it to me. So that was definitely a bummer, but now it means it's time to get resourceful and creative with making my own simulation powdered sugar supplies. Last night, I finished up getting all of the donut ears sewn and prepped. And then the other thing that I did was file my taxes finally. For me, it is a little bit difficult to file Etsy taxes because Etsy only sends you an actual tax form. I think it's like a 1099K if you've made over $20,000 in sales for a year. I am not close to that, so I don't get that actual tax form, but obviously I still have to go in and report all my earnings but thankfully there's good old TurboTax went through and figured that out. So that sure was a blast to do. Because with Etsy, it's not like an actual job where you can get taxes taken out of all of your paychecks. You yourself basically have to like plan and save for your taxes. For the amount that I make still isn't too bad to do, but I think starting now, especially I have to be extra conscientious of saving and setting aside money to pay for taxes. So that's kind of like the less fun side of having to run a little mouse ear shop. But right now I'm gonna quickly put some painter's tape on all of the churro ears I have prepped. I have to tape them up so that I don't get any glue on the headband itself. I just hate this current painter tape that I have because it does not stick to the headbands well. The brand that I had previously gotten on Amazon is no longer stocked there. So this works well enough, but as soon as I've used this up, I gotta find something that sticks a little better to fabric. It's now the early evening and I just finished getting all of the cinnamon brown glitter on the churros. So these guys will all dry and then they'll get their sugar coating put on. I also did the cinnamon for the cinnamon bun ears. I do have to add the red and blue glitter for the lightsaber churro ears. I have the shave ice ears prepped for their ice. So tonight I will probably get started on sewing the donuts onto their headbands. Well, my grand plan to get some donuts sewn onto the headbands last night didn't exactly pan out. We ended up cooking a nice full dinner and by the time that was all done and cleaned up, 
I just didn't quite have the energy for more work. So hopefully now tonight I can work on getting that done. The churros are ready to get their sugar added. The lecture I TA for is gonna start in about 30 minutes. So right now I think I'm gonna try and get that sugar quickly added. And then once that's done, at least for some of the churros, those ears will be complete. It's the early evening and I finally have some ears that are fully finished up. Of course, minus the bows. But it's nice to have some ears that are done done. The fabric paint on these guys are still drying, but I got these decorated churros finished up. Then down here on the lower rack of the cart, I have all of these ears that are done. I have the one cinnamon bun and the five plain churros. Then these ears here, they are ears that just need things glued onto them, so either sprinkles or chocolate chips. And then these are some ears that are prepped but still need to be decorated. Then now hopefully tonight I'll be able to move on to sewing these donuts onto the headbands finally. And then those donuts can get decorated with fabric paint. Mission accomplished. We got all seven pairs of donut ears sewn tonight. So now they, along with the rest of the ears on the top rack, will be ready for decoration. Added two of the other churro ears down to the fully finished pile. And then this Halloween churro just needs a little bit of glow-in-the-dark paint on it. It is bedtime right now, so we will continue on with this all tomorrow. It feels good to have finally gotten a whole chunk of ears done. Earlier this morning, I added the glitter to the lightsaber churro ears. So once those get sugared up, that will mean all of the churros are complete. The churros are so laborious to make that it is really nice to have all those done first. What I wanna get done today is get a first layer of fabric paint on all of the donut ears. The ears take a minimum of two coats of fabric paint and you gotta fully wait for everything to dry in between coats. So we'll make sure to get started on that today and that's also a kind of fun thing because it's like decorating and frosting the donuts. Well, I didn't really get anything else done yesterday. I wasn't feeling super good that evening. So the donuts are still mid-progress, but today what I can do is I can finish up all of the fabric paint frosting on them. There's like three pairs that just need one more coat of paint and then glitter. And then the other four pairs will probably need at least two more coats of paint. So I'll probably get some more painting done over lunch. And then later in the afternoon, I can add any other necessary coats of paint on those but then that will be seven more pairs of ears that will be ready for decoration. Also, today is the last day of classes. It's sad that we were only able to be with these students in person for two months before everything had to go online, but the semester worked out pretty well given the circumstances. Next week they have their final exam. There's a few more things that need to get turned in, so I'm not yet quite done with my TAing duties, but we are starting to wrap things up. But for current status on the rest of the ears, I have three shave ice that I need to add the ice to. That won't take too long. I can probably squeeze that in today. Then there's the Rice Krispies that need to be made and sewn because I have lollipops that need to be rolled out. And then there's finally all of the beignets left to tackle. And then eventually it's going to get to the point of having to make all of the bows and package up all the ears, but I don't want to have to think about that yet. <laughs> bit of an update now that we're here in the early evening. I just added the super pretty holographic silver glitter to these galactic donut ears. These are still totally wet but once they dry you can see there's a lot of excess glitter I gotta get off of there. The pink frosted donuts have just gone through their third round of fabric paint. I'll see once that dries whether that's enough or if I want to add a super thin fourth coat. I've got three of the other donut ears added to my set of ears here that now just need decoration. And then the shave ice ears just got their second and final coat of glue on them. So these are drying up and they will be fully finished up too. So then they can get added along to the collection of ears that are all done. 
If I do do any more work tonight, since it is Friday night, it would probably be cutting out and preparing fabric for the beignet ears. There's like eight regular beignets, a candy cane beignet, and then a few beignets that have chocolate drizzle and sprinkles. So I can see if I can get a head start on that tonight, but no big deal if that is safe for tomorrow. I did today get in some new fabric scissors. I had ordered new fabric scissors when I placed that big Joann's order, but they canceled that item because they had all of their scissors were like 50% off, so I'm guessing they just sold out of stock. So got these on Amazon instead, which is super good because my fabric scissors have just gotten so dull. And then I also got in two more bottles of my E6000 glue. I also got these on Amazon because they were oddly on sale the day that I was looking for them. E6000 is such a great strong multi-purpose glue and I definitely go through it pretty quickly. So I'll update again later tonight if anything else more happens, but then otherwise we'll check back tomorrow. So we have now officially made it back around to Saturday, so it has been another full week. The remaining four donut ears are now fully finished and prepped. I added a protective sealant on the Galactic donut ears because you don't want glitter fallout. And then I did add one more coat of fabric paint to the pink frosted donuts. So those are all now ready to have their sprinkles added. In total, I have 12 pairs of ears that just need their little decorations. And then I have 13 pairs that are totally finished, of course, sands the bows. I didn't get too much done on ears so far today. It's actually now the later afternoon because I was busy making masks earlier today. My mother for Mother's Day requested that I make her some masks. I had to harvest this elastic from some bed sheets, so that took a while. But we now have Mother's Day taken care of, so for the evening, I'm gonna try and get as many of the ears that just need sprinkles finished up. For all those ears, I like hand place and glue on all of the sprinkles. So it does take a while to do, but I think it provides a much better look than just like randomly sprinkling things on. And so tomorrow, Sunday, I'm gonna start up part three of this video. And in that, I'm gonna need to make the lollipops, sew together the Rice Krispie treats, and then finally tackle all the beignets. So I'll still probably check back in later today with the sprinkle progress I've been able to make. I got these six more pairs of ears all finished up, put the necessary sprinkles or accessories on them. So in terms of decoration, there are these other six that are still prepped and ready to go. I am getting very low on my rainbow sprinkles, but I should have just enough to finish up this other ice cream sundae and those two pink donuts. But after that, I'll probably have to make more. I make these myself. I just extrude polymer clay and then cut them up into pieces. So when you actually do it, it's kind of time consuming, but it makes quite a lot and you'll be set for a while. But tomorrow we will be resuming work and picking up in part three. So I hope you stick around for the final part where we will be finishing up 46 full pairs of mouse ears. But thanks for watching.